तो दिस इज़ होंडा सिविक 1998 मॉडल एंड आर फ्यूल रिजर्व लाइट डज नॉट गेट्स टर्न ऑन सो टू चेक इट आउट वी हैव टू फर्स्ट टेक आउट आर बैक सीट यू हैव टू पुल इट फ्रॉम हेयर देर आर टू लैच Our seats are in pretty bad condition, and you might have one latch over here, but our seat doesn't have that one, so we don't have to do that. Okay. So here is our cover for the fuel pump and sending unit. And sending unit is basically responsible for the level of fuel in our tank. and uh, it also sends a signal to the cluster for the reserve light if the fuel gets too low currently we have around 2 to 3 liters of fuel so our fuel reserve light or fuel uh, low light should should be on at at this point but it's not turning on so we have to check it and i'm going to tell you an easy way to test it out okay we have a piece of wire and this one is our fuel pump and here is our sending unit so we have to take out its connector Here we have three pins, A, B, and C. We have to uh, direct our pin A and pin C, and our fuel reserve light should be turned on. Actually, what we are trying to do is that we are closing the loop for the fuel reserve light here, and if it gets turned on, it means our wiring is good till our cluster, and the culprit is our sending unit. you have to turn on the ignition and you can see at the moment our reserve light is off uh, now i'm going to short out our pins and the reserve light should be turned on as you can see it's turning on and i'm now pulling out my pin you can see it's turned off i'm going to do it again for you it's turning on when i short it out and it's turning off which means there are sending unit has gone bad and we are going to take it out and take a look at it what's wrong and we're going we're going to solve it now to take out our sending unit we have to take off our fuel pumps connector first to get a better approach to our sending unit here are here are some cuts and we have to turn it to unlock it it doesn't have any bolts Rotate this clamp. Can you see? Rotate this clamp so that these cuts come in front of these or beneath these cuts.
see these guts? see here condition of uh, sending unit is pretty bad and uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to clean these with a cleaner it has got lots of carbon and here is a thermistor which is actually responsible for telling the cluster that our fuel level is low we might have to change it if it's available and if it's not we have to change our sending unit we have to first uh, clean it out with a contact cleaner do not use carb carburetor cleaner or anything like that because that damages electrical components of your car This portion should be as clean as possible. We are going to clean our thermistor as good as possible because this thermistor is responsible for telling us about the low level fuel light We are going to take a brush and clean it very delicately because you can damage this part here. one most important thing that you should confirm that all the time this this connector should touch these wires because if if it's not touching it, it you sh you won't be getting a signal there is no gap in it so it should be working fine 
most of the time what happens is this thermi this thermistor gets bad and uh, let's try our luck if it works or not if it doesn't work we have to change our setting here uh, make sure that these all the contact points here are clean enough Clean our connector. Let it drive for some time. Turn on our ignition. And at this point, you should be seeing a full fuel tank as the pointer is right here. Now, I have logged it to the fill full position and it our cluster should show a full fuel tank as you can see on the cluster it's going up okay. it's going up as it should and if I pull it down our reserve light should be on and our fuel fuel needle should be at at an empty tank. Our fuel uh, needle is going down but the fuel light, fuel reserve light is, has not turned on which means that either we have to change our thermistor or we have to change our whole sending unit. That's it. Thank you.